Good evening everyone. In this video tonight, we will do a general reading with tarot cards. We will cover your current state, your past future, your worries, um, also what's happening in your family, what's happening in your love life and your work. I have four different tarot card decks here. If you'd like to have this reading, please think of yourself, your life right now and choose a deck and take your time please. Okay, have you chosen? So let's start with our deck number one. So let's see what's your current what's your current state? What's your current vibration frequency we have the page of cups well it can show simply uh, that you're right now focusing on your children you're focusing on your hobbies on your work on your pets you know so overall it's a very good light energy now what is bothering you right now so okay some sort of ending we have some sort of unexpected ending um, something has been cut off unexpectedly it can be your plans have been disrupted it can be your work has been uh, kind of disrupted something like that what's on your mind well on your mind you have some sort of secret that you want to solve some sort of secret you want to solve some sort of riddle um, you have a question basically and you want to know the answer to that question what's happening right now will it show some sort of planning some sort of um, thinking planning trying to maybe think about work or how to achieve something how to do something something very clever you know it can be you're planning something what happened in the past we have money perhaps you received amount some a good amount of money maybe you got paid maybe you received your wage or, or simply maybe you received something like a new purchase you know so basically something of very good financially happened in the past what will happen in the future near future we have more a little bit more worrying a little bit more anxiety now <clears throat> how do you see yourself right now how do you see yourself well you see yourself uh, it can be like you want to do something and you want to go some somewhere start something and um, like you cannot perhaps or you're still thinking how to go about it but basically it's curiosity, it's wanting to do things, it's wanting to experience things. It can be also planning and thinking about your future. What, uh, how others see you? How do others see you? They see you as uh, having a very easygoing life, you know. You have no worries, you have money, you know. You, maybe you're living a very fashionable life, that sort of thing. What are your hopes and fears? Your hopes and fears. It can be related with some sort of education books, writing something, studying something, completing a course, completing a project, you know, something like that. Now, what about, what is the outcome? Well, as the out outcome, we have a... Um, Well, as the outcome, we have something um, 
something disappointing disappointing maybe something will happen that will upset you something will happen that will be done behind your back something you know will annoy you let's say that sort of situation let's have a look what's happening in your home okay so we have um, this uh, situation here that is basically um, you know sometimes it's kind of you know it's not constant sometimes you um, feel happy at home sometimes not you know um, there's maybe lack of stability in the home when it comes to how you you know connect with people in your relationships with other family members here it can show also that you're not at home right now that you're kind of on the move or traveling or somewhere else and um, like you're independent you know depends on you where you are how you live something like that now what about outside the home that concerns your friends and, and things outside the home but not work so we have lots of activity lots of uh, maybe friends lots of you know kind of playing um, but also a little bit of stress and uh, well I think you you show yourself as uh, being very kind to others like you you know that sort of thing although it m might be pretty stressful for you when it comes to being outdoors what about your work career So we do have that you work right now quite well. Uh, there is, um, you've been working for a while. It's kind of inertia, you know. Uh, you earn uh, a little bit. It doesn't show a lot, but you might be offering small a product that is small and earning a little bit for it. It's not wholesale or something. It's uh, small products like, uh, and I think you're pretty well settled in that job and you have respect and you're feeling confident and comfortable and uh, you know what you're doing basically so that sort of situation now what about your love life okay so uh, now there might be a man, uh, there might be a man that you're thinking about, uh, but, uh, and I don't know if he's uh, with you or not, I think he's not with you, uh, maybe you're waiting for him, but kinda, it's not happening right now, as you can see, like, either he's traveling to you, is being blocked or something like that, but he cannot get through to you, and, uh, but there was someone, someone like you're expecting or waiting or uh, someone is there so now i don't know what is the reason of that blockage is it your between you two something happened or is it this uh, lockdown right now so let's have a look about your spirituality where are you right now spiritually let's see life path what's happening on a deeper level so we have um, uh, a moment at moment at times you might be a, a little bit um, really depressed you know really feeling like uh, what's the purpose you know in life you know maybe you're feeling w disappointed about the whole thing and um, but you're strong and you're basically not giving up and you're again finding power and energy to motivate yourself and again you keep uh, going further you know like you're a strong person what about your health
okay so we have a death card here maybe you have a health problem for example that you know about and that's been like chronic um, and you're looking for alternative ways in how to treat that problem well it can be anything from toothache or bad teeth or or, or some sort of um hair fall to do something like allergies and and things like that so it doesn't have to be anything scary um but the fact is that you know and for a long time you've known about it and uh you're looking for ways here and there you know how to improve it now what is the advice for you right now So basically, um, so let's say if uh, if you are bound to the to your home right now because of lockdown again or or something like that, uh, uh, I think. Uh, this card is telling you or let's say you want to spend time with your boyfriend or something like that you know there is um, the devil card here that basically can talk about uh, you and your partner or something and missing and wanting to see um, and not being able to see because of some distance and it can talk uh, to you that you should show um be nice and kind and things like that and connect with that person <clears throat> or even let's say if you have a family then more show more attention to your family more love you know more friendship so i think now it's time to focus on you know your gentle part your love to other people if possible if you have children, of course, children. If you have a boyfriend you haven't met for a while, then connect with that person. We have that sort of situation. Uh, so I covered um, this general overview of your current life. And I will. we can go deeper and we should go deeper, but I'm not going to go deeper because of the lack of time. And we will be moving forward to our deck number two. Tag number two, right away. So let's have a look. What's happening right now in your life? What is your current energy, so to say? Well, this card is of a person who either wants to go somewhere, travel somewhere, or uh, wants to achieve something, you know, so it can talk about this very moving energy, or very interested energy, international traveling type of energy, you know, active, I would say, energy. Uh, for some people, might talk about missing something or someone that is far away. Now, what is your current worry, biggest challenge, let's see. Well, the emperor can be um, um, some sort of restriction, restriction um, caused by some sort of order of a person. For example, you want to go somewhere, but your relatives are telling you you better don't, or you want to go somewhere and the government is saying don't, or any sort of control that is over you. So I feel it can be a husband, it can be a father also. So. It can be like you feel not free because of some uh, someone telling you what to do right now. Or it can be a feeling that you feel like that, although no one is saying anything. So, what is on your mind at this time? Well, the devil, it can be different pleasures, different wants and wishes. 
let's say it can be you want to go get a pizza or something you want you want to go get some food or drinks or even um, have fun you know go to a party or something and um, let's say you cannot you know because of this restriction can indicate addiction addiction to shopping addiction to meeting friends addiction to do something basically too much now what is happening right now oh it shows family basically or with the family members you're surrounded by house and, and the four walls of that house what happened in the past can show that whatever happened you were tired you are tired it was a lot of work and you did lots of work maybe you cleaned and cooked or or, or maybe you simply are tired because of something you had lots of responsibilities recently what about the future well in the future we have you being more powerful more confident more brave and more capable so I think you will take things in your hands, you will feel better in the future, you will not feel like this victim, suppressed person. Now, how do you see yourself right now? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles. We, If you're a male person, it can be that you're seeing yourself as a rich person, as a person who is settled, as a person who is just eating, drinking and uh, cleaning or something, doing very simple stuff, you know, um, you might see yourself as earning somewhere or if you're a woman, you might see yourself uh, being, being dependent on a male person financially and even you know, in other things, your whole life, like all your house and everything depends on a man. How other? How do others see you? Yeah, basically they might see that something's wrong with you, maybe you're not well or you're depressed, you know, or you're sad. So it seems to me that maybe you're one of those people who would show if they are not well. You know, some people wouldn't show, but you might show because that's because you can see it. Or maybe your health is not well. So uh, this card is coming here. Hopes and fears. Well, with the hangman here, we can ha we can talk about some medication. Uh, let's say, will you get the medication, not get the medication, you know. Also, it can be um, you want to get away from being stuck in this place because we have hair stuck, we have hair kind of stuck, we have hair hair, like being in the house or something. So, it can talk that you hope that you soon will be free or something outcome well outcome is like you already kind of forgetting about the situation you're looking in a horizon you know what can you do what is there you know you're exploring the new horizons so it can talk about physically <clears throat> thinking where to go what to do it can be even mentally looking where else to <clears throat> sorry focus your attention where else to look what else to do? Let's say so you are bored with this now. You're looking somewhere else already. So let's have a look now. What's happening in your house? Queen of Swords. So as you can see, um, we have many people and kind of fun at home. But like that looks like a party. I don't know if you're having a party secretly or something. You're having alcohol. But it can be that uh, you're just having a party, but you're not really enjoying it. It's just that there are a lot of people, but maybe you have to... Um, you're not happy anyway. You're trying to be alone all the time, not to participate in that party and, and the gathering of your family members. Um, so maybe... And you're kind of odd one out in there. Because I'm getting some sort of like a 
trying to avoid people or trying to avoid a, a particular person, a mother, a grandmother, a mother-in-law, something like that. Maybe you're just trying to get away somehow. So we have this, I would say, quite anxious type of feeling here coming in the house. Happy, but not for you. You know, like others are happy, but you're not. Maybe you're having a drink a little bit too much secretly. For some people it can be that. Maybe you're trying to get away to, to meet your neighbor secretly, you know? Although it's not allowed. So, let's have a look now at what's happening outside the home. So whatever work or communication you had outside the home, it seems that you're not having right now. It seems like everything is kind of being suspended and you're on a break. What about your work right now? Talking about work, I think you have many hobbies, you have many interests, and right now you're looking for new opportunities, you know, you're thinking what to do, how to earn, or what to do, you know, when it comes to work. I think you're looking for a job, or looking for an opportunity, or looking for business, you know, you know, maybe that's your hobbies, or maybe you're, you know, it's something to do with children, maybe you're a teacher or something so it can be many things maybe it's pets you know it can be you want to be a vet you're looking for a job so let's have a look at your love life right now so we have your maybe you had someone but it's over maybe you simply had memories about someone for a while you've been thinking about someone for a while like for the past few years or months and or even those thoughts even those nostalgic thoughts are over now and uh, who knows maybe you're thinking about meeting someone else maybe you're uh, chatting with someone you know this page of wands or it can simply show that now right now you're not interested in your love life you're looking maybe for work or you're more interested in hobbies and work and things like that maybe to learn something so it's not really first priority it can be but can also indicate some sort of message from someone coming like a new person but most likely you know it's not very romantic most likely it's about some sort of work so let's have a look now about your spirituality where are you right now spiritually so look spiritually absolute fulfillment absolute happiness you don't really care you're kind of happy i think here it shows that right now right now you're kind of enjoying when you're not serious you know when like right now you're doing something i'm getting a little bit of humor here in your personality like you're a funny person and you know that you're a funny person and you don't like to be serious so i think here it shows that like lots of relaxation dance kind of fun you know and uh, i think that suits you that you should keep that up so now let's have a look at your health what's happening Okay, so either you're thinking about uh, bad health or you're actually feeling a bit low. Uh, I mean, it's more likely, most likely tiredness. Tiredness, it can be because maybe of age, if you're like above 35, 40 plus, you might feel more and more lethargic and tired every day. And um, overall, we have tiredness here, yeah, like, Um, like less energy you know energy levels are less um, uh, 
I would say not laziness maybe but something similar simply not not much interest to exercise or something like that so like how to describe these cards just blah blah you don't want to do anything and it seems so tired and lazy and old and like sleepy almost um you know but i think you're looking for you're reading about it about health and looking for ways you know how to do things so that sort of thing can be that you're not feeling very well right now with these cards <clears throat> so what is the advice for you right now Well, what can we say? Overall, uh, I don't know, I'm getting, if you're not eating, you should eat. You should take care of yourself more. You should um, enjoy more. If you've been doing something self-destructive, let's say, if you've been doing something sad or, or whatever, you should... Uh, spoil yourself a little bit you should um, rest you should enjoy you should eat you should drink you know you should be happy right now um, I'm getting that it says something very specific here specific meaning do exactly this and this and this when it comes to a, a problem but whatever that is you should be selfish and enjoy it can be something about food something you know uh eat more, eat better, you know, that sort of thing. And I'm not getting, seeing something specific. And press. Well, it depends on what you're, ha what's happening to you right now. What are you worried about the most? What are you overdoing? What What is driving you crazy? So, the, it, it's about that thing that you're, that is in your head, you know, that is, you're anxious, you're thinking, you're maybe doing something unusual because of that. Um, so, it's basically telling you to fight, to fight and... Uh, don't let that thing to affect you. Don't let that thing to, oh, you know, no matter how strong it is, how many people are saying, you should not let that affect you. You should be on top with that stick, you know, fighting all those words, all those thoughts, you know. You just have to stay strong and kind of stubborn and funny like you are. So this is our reading number two. Let's move on to our reading number three. <clears throat> our deck number three so what's happening with you right now where are you energetically hermit so hermit as you know it's a um, card of loneliness, separation, being on your own. Uh, right now, you might be um, on your own, you might be reading, you might be thinking, you might be isolated from the world, from the friends, from, from things, you know. 
and you might be thinking about things, you know, trying to work something out, look for answers, you know, um, it can be gathering wisdom or sharing wisdom, that sort of overall, it can be lonely, isolated, on your own, hermetic type of feeling here. <clears throat> now, what is bothering you the most right now? Knight of Rods. Well, as you know, right of Nine of Rods is a card of action, movement, going, traveling, you know, can be moving around with a car or transport, you know, that sort of thing. And simply activity is bothering you. How will you do things? How will you travel? How will you act? How will you go? You know, all those things. Sometimes can signify a young person, Knight of Rods, like a son, a young uh, girl or, or a guy, you know, that sort of thing. So what's on your mind right now? Three of Cups, we have friends, we have uh, people, maybe you're missing your friends, who knows. And uh, maybe there is a, a, some sort of celebration about to come into your life, like your birthday or someone else's birthday. Uh, maybe Easter, and, and you're wondering how will you, you know, uh, celebrate it. It can also talk about people in general, society, public, you know, how will people manage or something like that, that sort of thing. <clears throat> so, what is happening right now? Three of Rods, well, <clears throat> you are thinking, planning, thinking about future, about work, Maybe you're working, who knows. And uh, your mind is very active. Your mind is very active. You're always thinking about the future. You're always thinking, what will you do? What happened? Nine of Rods. So some sort of struggle, <clears throat> some sort of um, trouble happened. You were trying to keep yourself uh, strong. You were trying to... <clears throat> put up with something, you were trying to overcome something, so basically overall this uh, energy of a fighter, of someone who doesn't want to give up um, the future, what will happen, okay, we have the death card, we, uh, with the death card, we might have some sort of, well, let's say, uh, your plans will not fulfill the way you are thinking, um, uh, it can be that, you know, lockdown or something will be extended it can be that basically something will change more it will change more so death is talking about some sort of um there's a disappointment uh in plans and some sort of a change uh, of plans so how do you see yourself right now well, the emperor if you're a, a, a man it can be you see yourself as being pretty stable financially and safe you might feel yourself safe and secure and protected if you're a female it might be you're feeling protected by a male person it can be father husband or some sort of government rules building you know anything how do others see you right now well, others might see you as uh, unpredictable, changing your opinion, doubting, changing your schedule, changing your plans, you know, something like that. Like someone who's undecided about things, you know. It can be they see you as a person who's entertaining others, who's uh, doing something in the entertainment business or creative business. Um, like writer can be... <clears throat> can be someone who plays a lot, who does something to entertain others. Okay, so what I hope and fears, Knight of Cups, um, well, it can be simply you hope for some sort of healing or you hope something good for people, you're hoping that everything will be fine in whatever, you know, whatever problems you're having. It can also be... Um, expectation to receive a message from a loved one and maybe a proposal for love you know it can be a proposal for job by the way so some sort of like an exciting um, thing that will make you feel happy like exciting news or exciting something um, 
Okay, what's the outcome here? Okay, the outcome is the moon card. Moon card it represents that at this time you will, if you're looking for some answers, you will not be able to uh, find these answers. You will be in this unknown, you know, you'll be hidden, information will be hidden from you, answers will not be given, even though you're searching, it will still last this kind of, you know, unknowingness, it might still last. Also can also mean that you will be pretty, you know, you'll have these blues, mood swings, you might have right now thinking and thinking and really getting into that place where it's really heavy thoughts, you know, heavy thinking. So, let's have a look about your home, what's happening in your house and family. Chariot, King of Rods and Eight of Swords, well, Chariot is the car, you know, King of Rods, it might be you. You might go somewhere, do something, you cannot do some anything, you know, Eight of Swords. It can be that your health is not good, it can be that you cannot drive or travel. So, some sort of restriction and it's driving you crazy. What about outside your home? Five of Cups, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups. Again, we have, um, you know, maybe again, we have the Queen of Cups, maybe you want to meet someone outside the home, but as you can see, there is illness, threat of illness, and you're, you cannot go, you know, so there is this disappointment about the, what's happening, about the situation, and there is a sense that it's dangerous, and someone will criticize you or, or, or say something to you if you go out. But there is this Queen of Cups, it can be a female, a woman, or it can be a man sometimes. You know, with these uh, characteristics. Um, what about your work? Well, I'm getting that... Um, I don't know what kind of work is this. Can be medical, can be medical healing job uh, but it seems to me that you are kind of working maybe either you're working or you want to work so this can be a hospital bed okay this can be some sort of uh, medicines and and things like that and this can be you wanting to go and work and do things you know but like, I feel from your heart you want to work. I don't know if you're ill or you're not able to work or something like that. But there is also some sort of like a conflict emotionally you want. But like you're not allowed. You have to prove yourself. Something like that. Some sort of conflict. Okay, so what about your love life right now? We, we had uh, chatting and talking to someone uh, right now it's not happening and um, you're kind of okay without anyone it shows that you're most likely on your own uh, surrounded by comfort by gadgets I don't know by your home by furniture and you're kind of happy there so uh, even that talking you talk to someone but kind of you're not talking anymore like you don't want to talk so most likely, uh, right now, nothing special is happening when it comes to love life. You're on your own, but kind of happy on your own. Let's have a look about your spirituality, what's happening spiritually, basically deep down inside you. I have the Devil, Knight of Pentacles, and Page of Cups. So we have passion going on, creativity, passion, some sort of uh, lots of wanting, lots of that passionate energy. Um, like maybe you have an idea, you want to do something creative, you want to produce something, make something, go somewhere. 
I love someone, you know, lots of unexpressed energy, I would say, lots of creative uh, energies there. And it's very aggressive, it's very, it wants to express itself, you know. And can be all sorts of energy, creative, sexual, etc., etc. But I think it's meant for something good, you know, it's meant for something good. Uh, like to give something good for people, you know, like something like that. Now, what about your health? Let's have a look. Okay, when, when we have health, we have a good uh, cards. So I think when I said that you might be not healthy, I think that doesn't make sense. Uh, because when we talk about health, we have actually you in some sort of very respectable place. Like you're selling something when it comes to health. Maybe you're selling health products or you're selling something. You're earning money from health. Like health is extremely good, extremely, um, you know, better than others even. You know, you're like an example when it comes to being healthy. And uh, you might feel lots of good energy and... Uh, Lots of strength and even so much energy you want to share with others. So it seems like, I don't know, are you selling something when it comes to your health? Or are you helping someone like you're distributing money or food or something to people? So we have the good cards and uh, for some reason we have lots of shopping when it comes to health. Maybe you're buying masks, maybe you're buying gloves or something or medicines, maybe selling medicine. Interesting. Okay, so what is advice for you right now? We have seven of pentacles, tower. Okay, just release those plans. Just um, maybe it's about money, maybe it's about business. But basically, it's right now it's not going to happen. You have to kind of accept it. Yeah, so so I feel in you there is this very passionate person, but also a person who easily can detach yourself from your wishes, from your plans, and is flexible. So I think if you... Now... Uh, I would say don't wait for the let's see yeah don't wait until destiny will deal you a good card or, or something like that and you just be happy yeah just be happy with what it is you know with here and now if you have children just spend your time with children look at the children and you'll feel happy uh, so it doesn't matter, just don't attach yourself to things that are, you know, don't, be, don't depend on you, something like that, and um, you have the ability to be happy and everything will be okay yeah, with the sun card here. If you have kids, of course, just look at their faces and be grateful. So this is our reading number three. Let's move on to our reading number four. Our deck number four. What is your energy right now? What is your frequency? What's happening? We have the hangman. Well, the hangman is, of course, a person who is kind of not acting too much. 
someone who is waiting, who is kind of thinking something, or can represent someone who is sacrificing for others as well. It can be a person during the lockdown, yeah, in the home, uh, being uh, kind of suspended and not doing anything, um, anything too much, okay. Maybe a person is trying to wait until it's all over and, you know, start living to the fullest. Other than that, can actually show that you're pretty satisfied, you know, and enjoying the situation. Okay, so let's have a look. What is your biggest challenge right now? We have the Knight of Wands. Everybody's got the Knight of Wands today. Again, traveling, going, doing, you cannot do that. It's the biggest challenge. If you, you want something, um, you cannot act, you cannot do, your freedom is maybe restricted. So what are your thoughts right now? The Wheel of Fortune, your, for, your thoughts right now? I don't know, maybe you're thinking about destiny, maybe you're thinking about fate, maybe you're thinking about some sort of change, and you know, well, will things change, when will it move, you know, what's happening, you know, that sort of thing. Um, or maybe you're thinking how to change things. So let's have a look, what is happening right now, what do you know? What's happening? So some sort of beginning as well, something... Um, like a beginning in some cases can represent this coronavirus as a seed if we're looking at the seed meaning or uh, can also talk about uh, you're thinking about change and you want to go somewhere maybe you're thinking about starting something new you know it can also be that past in the past, you felt like uh, a bit down. You didn't know what you wanted. You kind of didn't, maybe, and nothing satisfied you, you know, that sort of thing. Future. We have nine of coins. We have money. We have business. We have a financially good situation. So, you don't have to worry about money. How do you see yourself right now? Eight of Cups, you're seeing yourself as someone who abandoned things. You're seeing yourself some, as someone who moved on from things, said no to things they liked. That sort of situation. How do others see you right now? Well, they might see you as someone um, selling something, earning money. Uh, through your work with clients, through some sort of financial exchange, you know, like maybe you're doing something online, I don't know, and you're earning, or maybe you're writing articles and earning. So this people see you as someone who isn't that maybe their colleague or or someone who they buy things from. Hopes and fears. Justice. Well, maybe you're worried about politics and uh, the law and legal stuff, you know, and you're worrying what will government say and what will happen, you know, some sort of license, some sort of certificate, some sort of, you know, um, banking and things like that. Now, the outcome, Eight of Swords. Well, we have a card of restriction as well. Uh, again, we have the card of restriction. It's showing that um, you might feel restricted to do what you want to do. You will not be able to do at this moment. Uh, there'll be some sort of uh, like paths closed, you know, to if you want to go do something, especially if you want to travel. So let's have a look. What is happening at home right now? Hierophon, six of wands, and what well, can be simply family, traditional family. It can be a, a woman that is a bit strict. Um, can be lots of talking, lots of discussing, you know, and the sense of um, 
that you have to be a little bit tense and a little bit conscious of what you're saying, not saying in your house. Like there's someone who's watching what you're talking. Um, just in case if you say the wrong word, they will go mad. So you have to be really careful of what you're saying. Now let's have a look outside the home. We have a sun and empress and we have coins. So I think uh, you are going somewhere to buy things. You're going out of the house. It's not like you're not going out and you're most likely going to shop. It can be vegetables, can be fruits, can be something for the house. Again, you know, maybe you're going with your partner, with your wife or, or husband. So, your career. Oh, we have like ending here. You can see the moon. Moon is like because of some crazy reasons. Because of some reasons we don't know. Your career job was closed. And there is lots of, um, how to say, worrying over nothing. Nothing can be done. And, and it's kind of just very unclear, very confusing. We have this confusion here. Now what about your love at this time? Look, uh, we have a female that you're thinking about secretly. Um, or some female is thinking about you secretly. And um, someone is interested, basically. I would say either someone is interested or you are interested in someone. There is something happening. We have a person in your love reading. Most likely female, it is. She comes like a friend, she comes as a friend, like a, not, you would never think of her maybe like a, a love interest. She's maybe from work, a person that uh, handles a lot of things, that has a very strong sense of responsibility that is a very strong person um, I don't know if you're that person or it's someone else but we have something up here someone from work someone you've been like on rout routine basis seeing and you might have been impressed by this person's strength or power or something like that or anger even So we have a person okay now let's have a look at the spirituality spiritually where are you i think you're a fighter again you're a fighter you're right now focusing on um uh, you know money and all these things mundane things but they're also spiritual things and uh, i think you're very you might be struggling, you might be fighting for them, you might be looking how to get money or earn or something. So this is where you're focusing, your spirit is focusing right now, basically. Opportunities, payments, rewards, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe even some sort of benefits. Let's have a look at your health right now. Okay, we have uh, good cards here. There is no danger for your health. We have um, strength, um, strength in your body. Basically, your body is strong. Uh, I feel that if you had any problem, you will heal or you're healing. And I think you know how to keep yourself healthy. You know how not to, um, I don't know, overeat, over drink, over risk something over work so i think you're good at keeping your balance uh the the knight of swords can indicate sometimes uh nervous breakdowns and lots of thinking and nerves and uh, can sometimes indicate a pain you know a pain but with the temperance we have this being just dissolved kind of vanishing and the last question let's have a look at the advice for you 
advice for you money 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 so we have um, lots of money all over the world I know money products or something all over the world for me it seems like give the money to the world if you have the money um, it can talk about some international business some international transactions some sort of something uh, the advice is right now to focus on some accounts or business or your shares or something big money that you have and I'm not able to understand exactly what to do. I'm having only huge money, checks, credit cards, even bank, and something overseas, foreign, you know. So if you get this, if you have some work to do with money and finances, so do it. If you want to increase money or give money to the world you can give that I'm asking again so i feel that if uh, you couldn't work because of some problem you will be able to soon and you should take that opportunity and do your things that you had to do you have to do these things so I hope that that made sense because for me personally it doesn't make a lot of it makes a lot of sense but I cannot tell more in detail what exactly this means but I hope that these clues were somewhat helpful and thank you for watching this video hope to see you next time this was a general reading for you kind of personal but general and i hope that somewhat it resonated so thank you and see you later bye bye